Becca. So I feel like I haven't made a video in ages. It hasn't really been that long, but it's been long enough that I forgot my camera settings. So it took me a while to get this going. Come on, girl, get it together. But here we are, update video, gonna be pretty short, but I just wanted to explain why I've been so kind of out of the loop and tell you guys about some exciting stuff that's coming up for me. So one big reason that I've been so busy the last couple weeks is that I've been working on my dream freelance illustration project. Honestly, I couldn't have imagined this project myself. It has every element that I could ever want in it. It's huge, the thing is 20 feet wide, and it has a lot of animals. Tons of animal illustrations, tons of plant illustrations. It is a dream come true, truly. Uh, I can't share too much about it because it's not done yet, but once it is, I am really excited to show you guys. And I've learned a ton, I've poured my heart into this thing, and I'm really excited to see it come to life, but it has been a huge amount of time and a huge learning experience, which as you know, anytime you're learning, it always takes five times longer than you expect. So it, it has made, put YouTube in the backseat a bit, but I am excited to get back to making more videos uh, once this project wraps up and I will be back on a normal schedule pretty soon. So that project's been going on, which has been very exciting and distracting, but I've also been preparing for another large, exciting, crazy life change. And that is that in two short weeks, <laughs> two weeks, two weeks from today, about, uh, I am moving to Rome for a year to go to school. I have always wanted to live in Europe and I've always wanted to go back to school and I've always had an internal battle about whether it was necessary. Like, did I really need to go back to school? And ultimately, I don't think I do, but I really, really wanted to. And I just, I didn't know if I was ever gonna have a chance to do this again. So I figured, you know what, now is the time. I gotta do this. So I think it'll be really interesting, hopefully for you guys to see the difference between going to a brick and mortar school and doing an online school, online classes. And I'm just really interested to see how that process differs, if I learn faster, if I like it more, if it's more stressful, I don't know. Um, but I'm doing it, it is, it's just always been a dream and I'm finally just going for it. So in two weeks I'm moving to Rome, uh, pretty much my house is packed up slash a total mess at the same time. Uh, I will be bringing probably two suitcases and I will be there. The program's 10 months long and I'll hopefully stay a little bit longer than that. So it'll be just about a year uh, in Rome. Very, it's, it doesn't even seem real. I'm saying it, but I almost feel like I'm lying, but I assure you, I paid for it. I'm definitely going. I will definitely make another video in depth about this later, but the school that I'm attending is called Idea Academy. It's a really small new school in Rome. I think it's maybe four years old. Uh, and I picked it for a couple reasons. Namely, the main two wa was that I wanted to work predomin predominantly digitally. So I didn't want to go to a traditional atelier style school for this particular experience. Uh, I think for me, it's been tough to transition to digital. So I wanted to be in an atmosphere or an environment that like really pushed me to do that. So I knew I wanted to go to a school that was digital, predominant. And also I wanted to go to a school that had a more technical focus, not a school that had a uh, fine arts focus. So Idea Academy, check both boxes, and that's where I will be going to school, studying visual development um, starting in October. So I hope you guys uh, will find that content really interesting. I think it will be a nice comparison, and I'm really happy that I get the, ha I, you know, had the experience of doing a lot of online courses, and now I'll get another experience to work physically on location with, you know, a teacher in the flesh and other students, and it's just, it's amazing. I feel very, very fortunate that I'm able to do this. Uh, I'm also very nervous and kind of scared, but it's happening. It's happening. So thank you guys for hanging in there. And I'm sorry I've been so off the grid. I promise I will get back on a regular schedule here pretty soon, but it's just been totally chaotic with all the stuff going on. So next time I see you, I will probably be in Rome. Hopefully I'll get my video set up. There's so many questions, but anyway, that is the latest update and I am excited to make some more videos and I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.